In today's episode, I'm bringing you my top 10 favourite female clone fragrances from the perfume parlour. I've recently joined the Perfume Parlour Facebook group and a couple of the ladies on there have approached me and asked me if I'd just give my opinions on some of the feminine scents that the Perfume Parlour sell. So I've decided to compile a list of my uh, top 10 favourite ones and to find out what's made it onto this list, stay tuned to Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and thank you very much for tuning in to this special Women's Perfume Parlour episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and this is the ninth episode in the series that focuses on my most recent purchases from the Perfume Parlour. However, this is my first haul based on uh, female fragrances and considering that my channel's made up of 98% uh, of male viewers, I'm not really expecting too many views on this particular review. In fact, I usually get an average of around 1000 views, so 2% of that would be 20, uh, so anything over 20 views on this video would be a huge success. Uh, so if you have decided to uh, tune in, then hello and welcome aboard. But before I begin the rundown, if you are interested in picking up any of these bottles that featured in this video today to try out for yourself, uh, you can use my unique discount code, uh, which you'll get you 10% off your first order, and I'll leave a link to that uh, down in the description. The link will direct you to a login page and you'll be asked to create a login name and a password. But once you've logged in and you've uh, made your selection and your purchases, then uh, your discount code will automatically be applied at the checkout. And as always, uh, just a quick disclaimer, I don't work for the Perfume Parlour and this video is in no way sponsored by them uh, and all the opinions that you're going to hear today are my own opinions and I did buy these uh, bottles with my own money. I do however receive a, a small commission for recommending you to go to their site so just by clicking on the link you'll save your 10% whilst uh, supporting the channel uh, and helping me to bring you uh, more free content in the future. Okay, so first up we've got a copy of a massively popular niche fragrance and this copy goes by the name of Aurora uh, for women and the perfume parlor code on this one is 1145. This is a copy of Oriana from Parfums de Mali, which is a beautiful fruity floral perfume that came out in 2021. The top notes in this one are bergamot, grapefruit and mandarin orange. In the mid, we've got blackcurrant, raspberry and orange blossom. And the base notes, we've got ambrette, uh, musk, whipped cream and marshmallow. Yeah, so this opens up with lots of sweet fruitiness and some tart citruses. However, pretty much instantly you get the whipped cream and the marshmallow notes just coming through from the base, which produces a lovely smooth and fluffy candy floss type softness, which I would say is super sweet and absolutely delicious. Weirdly, uh, you actually get more prominent citruses as it dries down and they seem to linger for quite a way into the dry down. The art of the scent is where you're going to pick up on like some red berries mixed with some muskiness and overall this is a beautiful and easy to wear fragrance uh, and I would say it'd be uh, ideal in the uh, like on a summer evening when it's combined with like a little little dress because it's very playful, it's very feminine and it's one that'll just make you want to take a bite out of yourself. I love how this one smells and if you haven't tried it yet you don't know what you're missing. This copy smells extremely similar to the original, it has great performance, uh, you'll get a good couple of hours of strong projection and then it sits uh, more fairly close to the skin for the next maybe four or five hours. And best of all it's about a tenth of the price of the original so if you haven't tried this one yet I'd highly recommend it. Okay, so the second one that I'm going to talk about today is actually my sister's signature scent and this inspired by version is called Citizen and the perfume parlour code on this one is 0921. This one is a copy of Libra from YSL. The top notes in this are Pettigrain, Blackcurrant and Mandarin Orange. In the mid there's Orange Blossom, Lavender and Jasmine and the base notes in this are musk, ambergris, cedar and Madagascan vanilla. This one is a very clean floral perfume with a prominent note of lavender 
Uh, but this is supported by the fruitiness of the black currant and mandarin orange up top and smooth creamy Madagascan vanilla and the musk in the base which adds a rich warmth to the heart of the scent. This one is a very classy, elegant and calming scent with a slightly more mature character so it'd probably be best suited to women over the age of 25. It's a very long lasting perfume uh, but it's not too overpowering so it'd be a, a great perfume to wear as an office fragrance. This perfume parlour copy is again very accurate to the original, uh, but if there's anyone watching this from the perfume parlour, you need to make a copy of uh, the Libra Intense version, uh, because I believe that this one's got a little bit more depth and it's more suitable uh, to wear in the evening. But nevertheless, a great interpretation here, um, one that you should definitely try out for yourself if you haven't already done so. Okay, so the third one in this haul is called Modest Affection for Women. And the perfume parlor code on this one is 1213. This one is a copy of this one. It's a Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Uh, and this one came out in tw uh, 2007 and it's an amber fragrance for women. Uh, the top notes in this one are neroli, bergamot, pink pepper and coriander. In the mid you've got jasmine, rose, um, orange blossom, honeysuckle and iris. And in the base we've got sugar, caramel, vanilla, musk, civet and labdanum. This is a rich and luxurious smelling fragrance which in my opinion has the perfect balance of citrusy freshness, sugary sweetness and plenty of florals without smelling like a straight up bunch of flowers. Along with Rolling in Love, uh, this one is one of my favourite feminine scents by the House of Killian. And it's just one of those perfumes that smells slightly different from day to day each time you wear it. Uh, but the one constant is that it's intensely sweet once it gets into the dry down and to me it's like uh, walking into a sweet shop and being shown the penny tray uh, for those old enough to know what the penny tray is. Uh, it's got like a, a candy like sweetness which may be a little bit too much for some of you ladies out there uh, but there's also some powderiness, uh, powderiness in the background uh, that's coming from the iris and I can pick up on the white florals which bring like a, a clean soapiness to it as well. I've read a few comments saying that dupes don't smell anything like the original but I do have the original right here and this perfume parlour version smells very similar and nobody would ever know that you uh, weren't wearing the real thing when they smell it just uh, as you're walking by in the air. Apparently uh, it's also Rihanna's signature scent so if you want to smell like Rihanna this is the one to get hold of. Okay so next up is one that goes by the name of Noir Poison and the perfume parlor code on that one is 1137. This one is a copy of the massively popular Black Opium by YSL. The top notes in this one are pear, orange blossom and pink pepper. In the mid we've got jasmine and coffee and the base notes in this one are cedar, patchouli and vanilla. So this one is a stunning coffee and vanilla scent which is rich, warm and seductive. This is one where from the initial spray I'd be happy to wear it myself because the coffee note is absolutely wonderful in this one. But as it dries down it does become much more feminine. So if there's any fellas watching this don't be uh, getting any ideas and trading in your black phantom for this uh, black opium just yet. There's some florals in the heart of the fragrance including the jasmine and the orange blossom uh, and it's the vanilla, the patchouli and the cedar that provide the depth and staying power from the base. I would say that this one is probably better, uh, better suited to wear in the evenings when you're dressed up to go out uh, and the performance on this perfume parlour version is really good with a, a good solid arm's length projection for the first hour or so and then it sits a bit more close to the skin and I'd say it probably um, stays as like a skin scent for the next maybe six hour mark. But all in all, a great smelling fragrance, uh, which I think is very sexy, very addictive, and I love to smell this one on a woman. Okay, so we've reached the halfway mark, and this next one is called Noble Angel for Women, and the perfume parlor code on this one is 1350. 
This one is a copy of Delina Exclusive, uh, which is the second Parfums de Mali copy uh, to feature in this top 10. I did have uh, another bottle of this, a bigger one, but I just took the cap off uh, the other night just to test it out, and it literally just exploded and all the juice fell out all over my bedroom floor, so that's what's left of my uh, bigger bottle of this one. The top notes in this are bergamot, pear, and lychee. In the mid, we've got Turkish rose, agar wood, and incense. And the base notes in this one are vanilla, amber, and woody notes. Yes, yeah, so this one is an ultra-feminine, delicate, rose-based fragrance with sweet and powdery notes. The rose is not too overpowering, so no, this doesn't smell like an old lady's handbag. Uh, this is a very modern and unique take on the rose note with the fruity pear and the lychee combo, providing lots of sweetness up top, whilst the agar wood, the amber and the vanilla, they bring more warmth and depth to the dry down. It's a follow-up to the original that came out a year earlier, uh, but it's the exclusive that seems to get more love because it's a little bit thicker and creamier than the original, which is a bit more uh, lighter and on the more fresher side. The rose for me is the standout note in this one, but it's supported by a tart fruitiness and a lovely creamy vanilla that runs through from start to finish. It's a super versatile scent and you can wear it all year round, day or night. It's a stunning perfume and I love how this one smells. The only downside to these perfume parlor clones though is that you don't get the Parfums de Mali bottle which I happen to think is one of the nicest looking perfume bottles that there is. Okay next up is one that's called Dreamy for Women and the perfume parlor code on this one is 0457. This one is a copy of La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier, which came out in 2019. The top notes in this are pear and bergamot. In the mid, there's floral notes and leather. And the base notes in this one are amber, vetiver, vanilla, and musk. Yeah, so this one is a sexy, playful, but yet grown up perfume with a sweet caramelized pear, competing with the sour bergamot for fruity domination in the opening. But as it dries down, there's some very light florals, but this is more about the sweetness and it's the pear that for me is the star of the show. I do get a bit of the leather and some of the amber in the base, which really brings the attitude and this is definitely a perfume that enters a room before you do. It's loud and it will fill a room, so you might just want to go easier on the sprays with this one. It lasts all day and it's definitely one of my favourite smelling feminine fragrances. I bought this extract spray to see if it performed as good as the original because this one has a huge projection and I've got to say it's definitely on a par for the, for the most part with the original and I am going to give this one away as a gift to the lady who kindly lent me her bottle so I could uh, test them side by side uh, but as you can see um, she, uh, there's hardly anything left in this bottle so she obviously enjoys this one as much as I do Okay, so next up is one that's been one of the most popular women's perfumes year on year since its launch back in 2005. The perfume parlor copy goes by the name of Exploding Blossom and the perfume parlor code on this one is 0215. And this one is a copy of Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. The top notes in this one are bergamot and tea. Then in the mid we've got jasmine, freesia and orchid and the base notes in this one are rose and patchouli. Yeah this one does exactly what it says on the label and it's basically an explosion of spring flowers that's balanced out by a, a bit of sparkling bergamot in the opening and some resinous patchouli in the base. In terms of the florals, it's the freesia and the jasmine that are the most prominent and I hardly uh, really get any of the rose or the orchid in this one. The tea note is also not something that I can really pick up on either in the opening, uh, but the florals and the hint of patchouli is what jumps out for me the most. It has a lovely amount of sweetness uh, without going anywhere near the syrupy sweet gourmand territory. And it's one that's very versatile and it can be worn by anyone of any age. Uh, but when I smell this, it makes me think of uh, summertime in full bloom, uh, worn by a gorgeous woman in a flowery dress and a summer hat. 
It's very feminine and girly with a happy and uplifting character. And this perfume parlor copy again does an excellent job of capturing the essence of the original. I would uh, like to see the perfume parlor create a copy of the latest flower bomb, the Ruby Orchid, uh, because this is the uh, best one of the lot and it smells absolutely gorgeous uh, with the addition of fruity peach and vine. So if you are watching Perfume Parlor, get a copy of this one knocked up very, very sharpish. Okay, this next one is called My Pascal. And the perfume parlor code on that one is 1690. This one is a copy of the EDP version of Mon Galan uh, by Galan, uh, which came out in 2017. The top notes in this one are bergamot and lavender. In the mid, we've got iris and jasmine sambac. And in the base, there's coumarin, Australian sandalwood and Tahitian vanilla. Yes, yeah, so this one is a very calm and relaxing scent, with the most prominent notes being the lavender, vanilla and the sandalwood. It has a breezy Mediterranean feel about it. And to me, it's, uh, it's a bit like a feminine version of Naxos by Zerzhov. There's plenty of lavender in the opening, which stays well in, throughout into the dry down. And this is supported by the iris and the jasmine, which brings a slight powdery floral accord to the heart of the fragrance. The smooth sandalwood and the creamy vanilla produce a dreamy soft sweetness that sits in the base and what you get is a really gorgeous gentle and womanly scent that would be perfect for the spring, the summer and even well into the autumn. This perfume parlor copy is an accurate representation of the original and has a really nice projection that lasts all day so I'd highly recommend this one uh, with spring coming up. Okay, so the penultimate one in this list that I'm going to talk about today goes by the name of Card Red. And the perfume parlor code on this one is 1681. This one is a copy of Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirkjan. Top notes in this one are bitter almond and saffron. Uh, the, in the mid, we've got jasmine and benzoin. And in the base, there's patchouli, cedar, musk, and ambergris. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely the most unisex smelling scent on this list. And it's also the most challenging, even though I think that more people will like this rather than dislike it. For me, it's not a matter of whether I love it or hate it. It's more the fact that it's just such an addictive and interesting aroma. And whenever I spray it, it just makes me lean in for a second, a third and a fourth sniff. It's sweet without being too syrupy sweet and the saffron and the benzoin produce a clean and sterile and almost medicinal quality like what you'd get in a hospital corridor. It's light and airy uh, but yet sweet and resinous at the same time and that's why this is just so interesting. You just can't quite nail down or describe what it is that you're actually smelling. The aroma uh, that this gives off when it's in the air though is absolutely magical and intoxicating. This copy is a perfect replica, and to be honest, every clone house seems to be able to get this one right. It has nuclear projection uh, and it lasts all day, uh, so if you were uh, just getting into like your, your niche smelling perfumes, then I think that this one is a, a really good gateway to uh, getting yourself into the uh, niche realm. And finally, the last one that I'm going to talk about today is my wild card because it's a scent that I feel leans towards the masculine side of unisex. Uh, but the women who have smelt it on me absolutely love it. And some have actually gone out and bought a bottle from the perfume parlor for themselves. This one is called Saint Lies. And the perfume parlor code on this one is 1804. This one is a copy of Angel Share by Killian, which is quite similar to Tom Ford's Lost Cherry with its warm dessert-like sweetness. The top notes in this one are cognac. Uh, in the mid, we've got cinnamon, tonka bean and oak. And the base notes are praline, vanilla and sandalwood. Yeah, this is a rich, indulgent gourmand fragrance with the super sweet notes of praline, vanilla and tonka bean, blending with the cinnamon, uh, which produces like a warm fruit pie type accord, similar to what you get in uh, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. However, uh, you also get a boozy cognac opening and some rich woodiness from the oak, uh, which in my opinion makes it more interesting than the Tom Ford. 
this perfume parlor copy is extremely accurate and ladies if you want something that's going to really impress your hubby or your boyfriend then this is the one i can't think of anything more sexy to smell on a woman so it's a fitting way to end this list the only problem you're going to have is uh, where to hide it because if your fella knows where it is uh, he is going to steal it for himself it's the only fragrance that i've gone out and uh, purchased a full 60 uh, ml extract spray from the perfume parlor for so if you need any further endorsement that's it i've also got the uh, the original and i've even just bought these um, fragrance dusts as well from the uh, from the perfume parlor and that's in saintly s as well so a little bit uh, a little bit mad on uh, Killian's Angel's share. Yeah, so in summary, all of these perfumes are stunning and you literally can't go wrong with any of them. But if I had a gun pointed to my head and I had to pick a top three from this list, I'd probably go with the copy of Oriana from per, uh, Parfums de Mali, which was the first one that I talked about. Then maybe I'd go for the Labelle from Jean-Paul Gaultier and finally the copy of Angel's Share by Killian. But like I say, I love how all of these smell and they're all really great interpretations of what they're supposed to be clones of. The extract sprays are in my opinion better quality, so if you can stretch to a few pounds more, then I'd say they're the ones to go for. You can also scent your home with the with your favourite signature scent with the Perfume Parlour's range of diffusers, candles and wax melts. I've also just recently discovered uh, this fragrance dust which you simply just pop a few pinches of it into uh, a tea light burner and it just scents your, your whole home uh, all day long and it's super strong and long lasting. It's also a lot less messy than the wax melts and when it stops releasing the scent you just simply tip the dust into the bin so this is something that I definitely recommend trying out. It costs between about five and ten pounds, uh, depending on which fragrance you go for, and you can actually put a little bit of each uh, each scent into the top of the into the top of the burner, and you can just create your own scent. So, definitely uh, something uh, that I would suggest a fun way of uh, scenting your home. Yeah, so once again, that's about it for this special women's episode of Replica Scents from the Perfume Parlour. I doubt it'll get many views, uh, but if it gets over 500 views in the first month, I'll, uh, I'll keep producing them on a more regular basis. So if you found this video useful, then please don't forget to tell your friends about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I always enjoy reading all your comments down in the comments section about all your individual experiences with these fragrances. Although as the channel's growing, I'm starting to see a few more keyboard warriors now creeping in and bringing some negativity and shade. Uh, but I usually uh, block them from the, uh, from the channel within five minutes. So uh, if you're going to leave a comment, please try to be uh, as positive and as kind as you can. So until next time, thank you very much for watching, stay safe and I'll hopefully see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.